fuck are they? I'm just gonna make a run for it. Go, 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 go. Hello everyone, I'm Mikyagi, and this is Doorways. Holy Mountain of Flesh, made by, I think, an Argentinian studio and is the fourth entry in the series. And here we go. Publicly known as a charity, NGO, Doorways is the last resort of justice. When government methods fail, this organization employs its special agents to impart justice against dangerous criminals. Thomas Foster was one of those agents. So Thomas Foster is the agent or investigator or whatever he relates as. In the first three games, you continue as the same guy. And from what I can remember from the old games is that you enter the mind, kind of, of the criminal. To investigate what he had done to others and then kind of punish him for that. So you get some really bizarre worlds and uh, settings where you walk around in, for example, in the first game. It's kind of an empty forest with just thorn, uh, thorny areas and just super dark and you have no idea where you're going. And just like this. Look here. Floating islands like clouds for miles. And is that lava down there? So you get very strange settings. And the, the controls are fairly similar. I remember the first two games especially had a problem with the mouse leaving the game onto your second monitor no matter what you did. So I think that's better than before. That doesn't seem to be a problem. Oh, here we go. Quantores. The Roaster. Santa Argentina, 1969. Unknown occupation. Juan Torres and his family are the target of uncountable rumors about the events taking place in El Chacal, a small village of around 4,800 inhabitants, located in the arid mountainous region of Salta, a province of Argentina. Among the stories spread around the neighboring villages, legends involving cannibalism, black magic, sex, and all kinds of superstitions have been heard. It is cannibalism, said black that magic. Juan Torres <laughs> is the heir of a large fortune. Mysteriously, with no claim raised against him, he managed to control the entire town and establish his own law in the village. Uh, the ah, there we go. Is made up of Juan and Celia Torres and his only child, Hieronimo. Hieronimo, alright. So this is the profile of the person we're hunting, I guess. Oh, elevator. Well, that's cool. From what I remember in the early... I mean, I'm kind of excited for this game because the first two games were kind of bad and really short. They were more like uh, spooky horror. Oh, there's something going on. So that's a portal. It's like Mount Doom. Anyway, the first two games were really short, like 30 minutes combined maybe, or 40, something like that. And they were more spooky walking simulators than anything else. Why am I walking so slowly? That's a very typical thing for this series. They really control how fast you walk. Oh Christ, what? Oh! Aren't I lucky? That could have been the end for me. Damn. Down into the lava we go. Oh shit, I'm actually standing in the air. Oh, I can jump, okay. So the controls are a little bit tighter than the older games. But the first two were spooky walking simulators. Can I open these doors? As opposed to traditional horror games, which the third and this game seem to be. Why oh, is everything boarded up? What is this place? Someone was having a cup of tea here. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest in here though. Another door. Oh, that's a spooky mirror. Wait, dare look into it? <laughs> Look at that sink. It's the happiest sink ever. Clown sink. Okay. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. 
Okay, we're fine. No demons are residing within that mirror. That's locked. Uh, anyway, first two games kind of bad, boring, slow, not much happening. The third game was much better. It was a real big step upwards. Hey, so these are just random paintings or what? Like God's Jesus' goblet? Charlie's another one. And a third one. What the fuck is wrong with this girl? Okay, whatever. So the third game used way more traditional horror game things. Like monsters chasing you, you running from monsters, you avoiding monsters specifically. But that's good, and I expect another leap in quality in this game. And I think it's already happened, you know, the controls are a little bit better. The level design is weird, but I guess that makes sense for this series. I'm, I'm excited for this game. I want to play it real bad. Another happy sink. That doesn't seem very safe. Oh, whatever. I don't know anything about water and electricity. Oh, it looks so evil. Really evil. An owl statue. Kind of Jesus thingy? More weird women faces? Shit. There's smoke everywhere. For no no apparent reason. Just smoke. Maybe there were heavy smokers living there. Smoking so heavily, in fact, that the smoke is trapped and seeping out slowly. Okay, then. There are many doors to in inspect, many rooms to look through. But there doesn't seem to be anything. Maybe I should just ignore him. Why are there weird noises? Can I get over? I cannot. I may not get over. Can I pick this up? A lantern would be a good idea. I have a feeling it's gonna get way darker later on. At least these have a nice rug in there. Okay, I mean, whoever thought of this. Let's have the drying or shower rack, the towel rack in the shower. And then you have a mat on the floor under the shower. That's genius. A very absorbent mat. You don't need any draining. It's just perfect. It works. Don't question it. Don't question it one bit. So they have electricity. They have lights in this whatever this city is. Oh, here we go. Spooky red light. Up. Oh. Whoa. 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 What are you saying, lady? Oh, shit. I'm getting shivers. Okay, so that's someone speaking backwards, and it's very effectful. Too effectful, some might say. What the hell happened to this thing? It's all brown, yellow. Someone could not control their bowels. Ew. Ew. Another shower, another spooky mirror, a soulless mirror. So many things here. Oh, where is this then? Door. Door. I've been here. What? Okay, so I came here. I can go up there and I. Did I look around the corner here? I did not. There's nothing here. I'll just look around here real quick and then go up the staircase. Oh! So this is where the smoker lives. Oh god. He can't breathe. Is someone a doctor? So these are just visions of the people dying? Is it because of poor treatment from the leaders or why? Oh, 
another staircase. No, right, 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 right. I came from there. I am so, so stupid. I get lost so very easily. All right, so I don't think there's much going on in the rooms. Can I go in there? That room looked familiar. It's so bright. I guess I can go in here. What is there on this table? Under the blanket. Oh, I should take one of these as a weapon. That would be fantastic. Fantastic. Another death scene, or what? Yeah, that's creepy, but not so bad. I mean, it's a woman consoling a baby under a satanic cross. Oh my god! That baby's definitely dead. I've heard that non-believers eat babs. The babies are just delicious to non-believers. But that baby is a goner, as far as I know. Well then. Oh, hey, there's someone there? Oh, it's a statue. And there's a small side path. Wherever could this take me? Oh, I found this a ruins. Ah, that's the uh, other staircase. Okay. Oh, piece of paper. I love pieces of paper. As if it could move on its own, this village seemed to be tightly packed into the mountainside after crashing against it in an attempt to escape from civilization. A strong vermilion tinted the sky. Merging with the red dust of the mountains, a hellish landscape was created. Desolation was accompanied by the music of laments, crying for help. Crying for help. Well, yes, I can definitely see the reddish things he's talking about. Did I take damage? What's going on with my... the corners of my eyes are just... red. Maybe I did take damage. This guy does not know how to walk downstairs. That's a friggin' joke. But this statue is... Oh, there's green fire. Fell fire is here. This is where the demonic magic comes from. It's locked. It's locked. I cannot open that. It's locked. That's a cool picture. Native Argentinians? I guess you can call them. Oh, llamas! Ah, oh, they're so cute. They're weird. Oh. Someone is really thirsty. Look at all these. That's like 20 liters of wine or whatever. That's a lot. It's just hammered. Oh, a regular cross, so this is not a satanistic couch. The fuck is that? That's not Jesus, though, I think. It's someone else. Maybe his cousin Harl. Oh, a shower with actual draining system. What a genius who built this house. Hey, papers. Blissful dream. The sting is coming out of its back. Its image is everywhere, searching for me. Goes through every wall, every obstacle. That does not sound too good. It sinks its teeth in me over and over again. The sky turns crimson, a light in the center of the vortex. The savior is coming for us. Who is this savior though? Is it just regular Christianity or with a twist? My stomach aches. My gut falls to the ground. I pick them up. I bring them to my mouth. They have a tender sweet taste. No, you're not so Oh my god. That's disgusting. A man, a big man reaches me. His sacred mullet falls and crushes my head. This is so weird. I have no idea how, what, why. Someone's just crazy. I'm crawling in the desert instead of sand. Empty goblets. I open my mouth bigger and bigger until the corners of my mouth break. No. The skin begins to fold. It covers my skull. The lower part of my back. My palate is now on my neck. My shoulders, my feet. 
I close my mouth inside out and I chew myself up. <laughs> I'm delicious. Oh man. I wish I was delicious. I don't even know. I don't even want to know if I'm delicious or not. That seems like a dangerous path to take. Well, that's this this is the creepiest house so far. Or maybe that's the guy in the desert with the goblets. Look at his mouth. It's just so wide. Maybe it's at the point where the mouth will break and just go over his skull and onto his back and eat himself. Was there anything here? Oh shit! Okay, there's something here. An actual human being. I got to see somebody. He was running from something. What is that in there? There's no one there. I wonder what he's running from. Locked. Locked. Everything is locked. People actually locked their homes up after leaving. Abandoning this village. I'm gonna take a wild stabbing guess that nobody's actually coming back. Why did they bother... Oh, another one. Yeah. Why did they bother to... Uh... What the fuck? Oh, someone is having a bad day. Why did they bother to lock the doors if they're not gonna come back? It's so weird. Um, there was another house here. Oh, it actually opened. What are you hiding under here? But it's babies. They all eat babies. They seem to enjoy eating guts, so... I wouldn't want to be a baby in this town. Okay. Onwards to the crazy church. It actually does look like a church, so... There's some weird... Sacrilegious version of Christianity going on here. A paper. Once inside their minds, I've witnessed all the atrocities committed, experienced them in the flesh. Did they think I could bear locking them up for the rest of their days? The professor, the sculptor, the surgeon, all of them guilty. guilty. Guilty of inhuman and unforgivable crimes. The only fair punishment they could receive is mine. Very vengeful Everyone person. Deserved to suffer in a proportional way oh, to considering what happened in the earlier game, with the I'm with him, kinda. Death. And now, Just too violent. Think that I am only useful to contribute to the experiment for which they are holding me in prison. They are so wrong. So maybe the guy took it a bit too far, Thomas, or whatever his name is, and, you know, they realized what he did to the other people he chased, and imprisoned him? It seems like it wouldn't happen. Anyway, the, um, he mentioned the professor, the sculptor, and the surgeon. These are from the three games before this. The professor is the first game. The surgeon... No, not the surgeon. The uh, sculptor is actually from. Uh, oh, it's from the second game, and he's. I, I remember he's from Gothenburg, Sweden. So I can totally relate to that guy, being Swedish and all. These don't seem to work. And um, the surgeon is from the third game, the strongest so far in the series. Maybe until now, though, because this might just be better. It looked like there was a piece missing from that thing, so I'm gonna go look here. In the city. Because I don't think there's, uh, many things to do other than get through that door here. No hidden things? Maybe it's in the fire. The Saint of the Flesh. FL. What could FL mean? It's a name, maybe. I had no idea what to do then, because I cannot find anything to repair that broken piece with. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you can actually climb this thing. What? That's a new mechanic for this game. Climbing stuff, other than ladders. I shouldn't be so shocked and surprised by it. I, I ran around this little village part for ages looking for something to repair the gate with, but gate with 
Not gay. But I cannot find anything, so... Okay, this is the way you need to go. Well, this is a weird little thing. What's the point? Who designed this arc? Arch? Uh, however you pronounce it. Oh, wow. Why is the audio disappearing? Why am I so slow? Oh man, this is really spooky. And it really reminds me of a part in the third game where you're in like a basement, like way underground, like a bunker. And it's like really tight corridors in a maze. You have to open doors and find levers and... Oh shit. Who the hell is that? No! No, 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 no. No! I deny you. The power of Christ compels you! Oh shit. Anyway, in that labyrinth... Oh my god. Labyrinth, you had to find levers and buttons and... Switches and shit to open doors, time doors. While being chased in the labyrinth that is this wide by like a dead Grim Reaper witch. It was awful. Shit, they're right here. Where are they? Who are they? What the fuck are they? Uh, I'm just gonna make a run for it. Go, 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 go. Ah! Let me go. Oh, thank you. Oh, shit. That's what I'm talking about. They take control of your movement speed. Oh, shit. So often. Like, no, you cannot walk fast now. You cannot run. You cannot do anything. Um, was there anything here even? That looks like a hospital. Or a prison. Freaking bars across all windows and... They're... They don't even have windows. They're blocked by something. What a weird place. Is there anything? I need something. I need to feel like I'm making progress. Jump, jump. We actually have brick houses here. That's cool. I didn't see any other before. Oh, hey! Secret path. I love me some secret paths. It really looks like I'm going... Well, currently looks like I'm going to Moria. No, Moria. Mordor. Mount Doom. Oh, crikey. To destroy the One Ring to rule them all. I kind of wish I had the One Ring. I feel like it could be really useful in a game like this. Do I have to jump here? <laughs> Hooray! Basic platforming complete. Achievement unlocked. I wish. But the ring power. Just put the ring on and you become in invisible. That would be fantastic. Elevator? No? Okay then. It's weird that I haven't run into any monsters yet though. Maybe they've tuned it down a bit. Because I'm the third game you just run into this re oh, really freaky thing right away. Which was really cool and really terrifying. Do we have any secrets here? We do not. We do not. Oh, I can climb here. This new climbing mechanic is making this game really cool. I'm now by the hospital or prison, maybe. I guess prison. It's a very big prison for such a small town, though. So I'm probably gonna jump through there. Up. Alright, here we go. I'm going in. This might actually be a good place for a break. As it seems to be turning into a new spot. The village school seemed way too large for a town. It's like a school? This. What the fuck kind of school is this? Torn down building seemingly abandoned years ago. The ruins show signs that El Chacal's population had grown in the past years. But something made it fall into decline at some point. Maybe the answer lay in the Taurus family rise to power.
Use the keyboard numbers to quickly equip items. I think that's a new mechanic. I don't think you could actually do that before. It's a basic one, but I appreciate it. Ooh, this is spooky. Well, I think I'm gonna take a break here. This seems like a good place to do it. And I have to say that I'm expecting good things from this game, considering the jumping quality from game 2 to 3. And I'm expecting this to be just as good as 3. So that's gonna be pretty good. So thank you for watching and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this game or other indie games. Until next time! Bye!